Hey guys, my name is Joyce and welcome to my channel, The Project Joy. How are you today? Well, today we came here to talk about uh, dimensions. Well, it's very important for me to explain you what is dimensions and for us to everyone to understand what is dimensions because it, that's the only way for you to understand the logic, the logic of creation and only once we understand the logic of creation we can then understand the geometry of existence. Understanding the geometry of our existence then we can uh, literally change our realities and that's the, the whole point. So let's start today with the first dimension. Well, first, before I start all my explanation, guys, I, I want to ask you uh, something, which is uh, before you watch my videos, or any of my videos, um, I ask you to stop looking uh, to everything from one point of view and start looking at it from outside of the box. What I mean by that is that the information that I'm coming here to explain you it's something very uh, particular and something very um, specific and kind of difficult to understand. It's not that you need to stop believing what you already believe because that's not the point and I don't also want you to believe in everything that I'm saying, no. Uh, I keep saying this because I really want you to go do your own researches, uh, your own research and uh, have your own conclusions about everything that I'm saying so that then we can all agree in one only point of view. And for that, uh, all this explanation that I'm doing, it's really important that you look to our existence from another point of view, from outside of the box. Because this subject is something very, very sensitive. It's not something that we talk about every day. And I know that can be very subjective to all the beliefs that everyone has. And I don't want to hurt any, anyone's feelings about any of your beliefs. And with everything that I'm explaining, it's not going to do that. It's just uh, another way of explaining something that everyone already knows. But it's a little bit hard to get it. So it's really important that you change your perspective about looking to our existence. For instance, while you're watching my videos, so you can understand uh, the logic that I'm explaining, okay? Something that it's really also really important that you understand is that uh, let's say when the Big Bang happened and I'm not here going, I'm not going to support any idea, a scientific belief or a religious belief or a spiritual belief, but we are going to use them for all the explanation that I'm going to say. So one good explanation for the the beginning of times or the beginning of the universe is uh, with the Big Bang. So saying that when the Big Bang first happened, first started, uh, everything happened at the same time. Uh, past, present and future. So we look at in a linear way because we live it in a linear mode. But everything happened at the same time, from the beginning to the end. So all the dimensions that started to appear, they, they, they are not separated, they were not segregated with time. It was not something that happened with the time. It's everything happened at the same time. But there was a logic, there was a step, a step by step that happened so that everything can have a, a form and everything can be explained in one only way. 
So it's really important that you understand that everything happened at the same time. It's not that because I'm explaining dimension by dimension that because first has first started the first dimension, then the second dimension, then the third dimension. It's not like that. Everything happened at the same time. And it's not because we, we live in, the, in between the third and the fourth dimension that we don't exist in another dimension. It's not like that as well, because we are existing in all the dimensions at the same time. Inside of us, inside of our bodies. All of, dimen all of the dimensions are existing. But we need to understand it. We need to understand looking it into another point of view. So when the first, well, the first thing that started, the first thing that happened when the Big Bang happened, when the universe was born, uh, was the thought, was the idea. Because before we do anything, before we, we plan anything, we have to think about it. And not only us, but as well as in the beginning of times, the first thing that started was the act of thought. And this energy that was brought up, that started to happen, when, when I mean this energy, I mean God. And uh, I don't mean this as a man or a woman. It's just an energy. But here in this, uh, in this channel, we are, going to talk, we are going to call it universe. The, the energy of the universe. So this energy of the universe, he had the power to be and to do whatever it wanted. He had the power to just transform to anything it wanted. So the f when the first dimension happened, what it was when this energy first has had the thought, when this energy first had this thought of who am I, who can I be, where can I get, what can I experience, and that's when we started to create the, this capacity of consciousness. And consciousness, it's not only thought. Consciousness is being aware of the thought, being aware of all the thoughts from the beginning to the end. And um, when we look to consciousness, what we have here in our bodies is something very, very, very limited comparing to everything that we actually know and everything that actually exists in the universe. And then this consciousness started to have this uh, awareness that it had, it had the power to be and to do whatever it wanted. And think with me, guys. If you were this energy, you have the, the power to be and to do whatever you want. Of course, the only idea, the only possible way or the only option this energy could have chosen was to experience everything. Why do we think that we are the only ones in this universe? Why would we think that this power of energy of creation would only choose one kind, one type of uh, intelligent being to exist? That doesn't have any point. This energy decided to experience everything. Because it wanted to understand everything, it wanted to feel everything. So it created all the beings, not only everything that happened, that exists in this planet, but all the other planets and all the other intelligent beings and all the other intelligent um, existence. Because don't forget that everything has consciousness. So. When we say that everything has consciousness, we are not only talking about uh, the human being, 
but also the planet itself has a consciousness and the sun and the galaxy is just another way of exist another way of live another way of experience so this consciousness has this power and has this intelligence of being uh, being able to live and experience whatever it could and of course it it made it happen he made it happen and for that to happen we had to organize it he had to organize it because we always thought for thousands of years we always thought that the universe has the tendency to chaos but that's not actually like that the universe is very mystical is very uh can be a little bit scary can be a little bit tricky but it's not chaotic the universe likes to organize everything and the only way it it could organize it was through geometry so the universe is composed by numbers first because the dimensions are the numbers are the first numbers the primordial numbers and those dimensions are explaining all the the, compo the the composition of the universe but explaining explaining it only through numbers is not sufficient to organize it because it has matter so the universe created geometry and the, that's when the geometry was created at the same time that the consciousness was created as well and the geometry uh, is organizing all these possible realities in uh, one only form so that they all can happen and <laughs> and that's the tricky part that's you are like asking you might be asking how how this is possible but step by step i'm going to explain everything but coming back to consciousness coming back to the first dimension when i talk about dimensions it's not a place that we have to go it's not something that we can touch like this is first dimension this is second dimension no it's not like that uh, the dimensions are something that are intrinsic to everything that exists and we are existing in all the dimensions at the same time the ones that we can measure the ones that we can uh, let's say touch it it's not that we can touch it because we cannot but uh, the ones that we can actually measure it are only three i will tell you later which one are they uh and two of them are those are the two dimensions that we are living right now which is the the third and the fourth dimension and those two are uh, measurable dimensions and uh, we can uh, feel it and we can understand it and then the third uh, the third dimension that is going to be very important and i'll tell you later but we are not existing only on the third and the fourth dimension no we are existing in all of them and this first dimension is specifically specifically this consciousness this awareness of knowing that we can be everything is the awareness of the consciousness of knowing that we can experience everything is this power of being all the beings that he can be to live through each and every energy that he wants because he wants to experience it all in all the all the points of view and that's why it's important important to understand the first dimension because understanding 
how the thoughts were created understanding this logic we can understand everything else okay uh thank you very much for watching this video guys uh don't forget to share as much as you can and subscribe and activate the bell so that we can know when you're going to have another video okay don't forget to leave your thumbs up down here because it's very important so that this message can be shared to everyone as much as we can okay and that's it um beijo no coração